strong hold uh, went down because of uh, global crisis but you could also say that the, the downfall of satya industry in india led to that it is related well, very interesting. I did, when I did my, I did a series on globalization just before the crisis, where I went to Bangalore, Shanghai, and Detroit, speaking to a lot of the IT firms. And my view would be that, yes, they were impacted by the crisis, as everyone was, service exports were affected, but the most important thing that was happening, I think, that I saw starting then, is that it's no longer just Indian IT firms that come to seek IT and business processing so it's in India. All the other companies around the world that have decided to come to India as well, set up in Bangalore or other places. So GE, Accenture, and there are huge offices now for all the international accounting, Cap Germany. And so I think it was inevitable in some ways that that huge growth we saw in the Indian IT sector would be challenged by that competition because India had opened itself up. So I would say that's the most important factor that slowed the growth of the particularly Indian companies. I mean, they are also moving into their own overseas market, but I think the movement has been more strong of international companies in, in India. I mean, Satyam didn't help, because it did raise questions for international investors about their accounting systems. But I think the main thing is, I mean, they're still respected and, and important companies, but as we'll see, they may not be any more as important, as, as big for the Indian economy as they were before. But they do show, and I think what's very important, is that India can produce leading edge, edge technology. And Bangalore really has been a hothouse. And of course, the other effect is on the non-resident Indian. And now there's much more traffic both ways. Again, I talked to a number of people who come back from Silicon Valley as a result of the growth of the IT industry in Bangalore. So in terms of human capital, I think it's also very important. And I think that will, that will continue, that interchange between the different centers. So it's a very important growth center. I think the purely Indian companies may find the environment more competitive in the future than they have. Anything else anyone wants to ask about on the global crisis? Just very quickly, how was it covered and perceived in India? Was it seen as mainly an American crisis, a Western crisis, or was it seen as a global crisis? I don't know if you were reading the newspapers in 2008, but hopefully some of you were. What do you think? It was actually a global aspect of mm -hmm. It was like... A First, they focus on what is going on in the US. Yeah. Then they focus on what is what is its effect mm -hmm. on the global economy. Then mm -hmm. they turn to India after all. This yeah. Stuff. Yeah, I think that was a sequence in a number of countries. I mean, like in Russia, first it was blamed on the American. Yeah. Then suddenly people realized it was much bigger. And really, it's a, the, what we might say the downside of globalization. That things are transmitted so quickly. Now I'd like to turn to India and India's prospects.